Hey, what's up, Street Gods? Zarek Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I want to make a quick video on why I think the Ricoh GR version 2 is probably the best camera for street photography. Also, feature on it the Gangsta Eric Kim wrist strap. It's available exclusively on the Hapstor store. Anyways, so first and foremost, this camera is super small. Just to give you a sense, here's my hand, here's the thickness, and very conveniently, bada bing, bada boom, it could fit in your front pocket. So whenever you see a good decisive moment, you could take it out of your bag, turn on, and photograph whatever you want to photograph. You can see my Ricoh GR2 is broken, so it actually takes me a few photos for me to shoot in order for me to. And if you're curious, I'm currently shooting this video in the garage. And what I also really love about this camera is that here on the side, Note that there's this really convenient, let me see if I can focus on this, little flash button. So if you just click that down, boom, the flash pops up. So the reason why this is super convenient is that I use the flash quite a bit. And you can see it only sticks out a little bit from the camera. And whether you're shooting street photography or something else it actually helps the photograph a lot and also what I love about the camera is that it's got a macro mode so you can see there's this up a button here so macro on macro off and it works pretty well so let's say well, my, what do I want to photograph oh my buddy um, John he's got these gangsta gangsta RCs in the the garage so let's say let's see how how, far, how close can I focus so let's say I just want to photograph this little thing here. Now I can photograph that, and you can see how much closer it is. So that's with flash, and without flash, you can see the flash is way better. Uh, what I also love about this camera is here on the side, you see this little random effect button. Let's see, I press that. There's actually lots of really good settings. So currently, I'm shooting JPEG positive film. The high contrast black and white looks fantastic. If you want to adjust the positive film preset, you just press function two. And you can see I have everything to the max. So max saturation, contrast, and sharpness. And if I go here to the menu, the way I currently have my Ricoh GR2 set up is I find that the colors on the Ricoh GR2 JPEG look really fantastic. So I'm just shooting large JPEG, three to two, and I'm shooting the positive film preset. And I just found the colors that come out of the positive film preset look fantastic. So I've been shooting a lot of color more recently because I just really love the colors. And other accessories that I generally recommend for the Ricoh GR version two is, you can see here, I just got some like screen protectors so on Amazon, I'm not exactly sure the whole brand, but you can see I have this lovely crack here in the screen. And the cracks happen because I've just squished it in a bag, but it only damages the screen protector, so it's not really a big deal. And you can see this this baby has been through a lot. I've even had some masking tape to make it the Ricoh GR P, <laughs> a little homage to Leica. Apparently, the Ricoh GR version three is coming out soon. The the reason why it's gonna is very unfortunate that it doesn't have a flash. You can see here simple things like you could put an SD card here, the battery here. And you can just see how small it is. Also, this is an important thing too. Once again, note that with the Ryuko GR version two, it has this like weird little loop thingy. It's not like a proper lug nut. So that's why I designed the Air Kim wrist strap and the neck strap to actually be accessible with this camera. Other reason, other ways I like to shoot with it, I generally just keep it on key mode, which automatically chooses the uh, aperture and shutter speed. If you guys are curious how my Ryuko is broken, so let's say I turn on the camera, see it's a black screen. I have to take a picture to wake it up. Wait, wait. Aha, it wakes up. So <laughs> generally, the downside of the Ricos is that, I mean, it's like five, six hundred dollars. It's like five hundred bucks now. So the quality control is not like fantastic. I mean, to be to be quite frank, generally what happens with the Ricos is that you use it for a while, then somehow it breaks or dust on the sensor, whatever. Pretty common problems, and then you just go out and buy another one 
Other things I find very useful is when you're shooting, if you want to change the ISO, you could just, you see this little adjustment dial up here. You could just swipe that to the left or the right to change your ISO. So you could change it. So generally I keep, for color, I prefer ISO 800, black and white 1600. So if I wanted to make it black and white, you can see here this effect button here, click that. High contrast black and white, so you can see everything's super high contrast, you know. And I won't hesitate to make a 3200. And generally when I'm shooting black and white, since I have the Air Kim Monochrome 1600 preset, which I really like, I'll just shoot raw. And then afterwards when I'm importing photos into Lightroom, then I'll apply the presets afterwards. And once again, the reason why the GR version 2 is fantastic and I wouldn't really wait on the 3 is you got the little pop-up flash which helps your photos tremendously. Yeah, so let's compare. So that was with flash. Actually here, the lighting is actually pretty good. Let me do a, for example, let's say like dark stuff like this. So with that flash, with flash, yeah, so there's much more detail. And also things I like about the Ricoh GR version 2, it's got a integrated 28 millimeter lens, which is a great uh, focal length for street photography. And also the, the Benfin is, it's very easy to get close to your subject because what you could do is you could just stick out your arm when you're shooting street photography. So you don't always have to put the viewfinder to your face. Some people say, oh, you know, I miss having a viewfinder. You could get an external one. Honestly, I don't really care for it. I like using the LCD screen. Also, cool things you could do is you could put your camera super low angles, shoot looking up. You could just like quite literally put it on the ground and shoot super low angles. And the, once again, the biggest thing is that it's just small and it's always with you. So half the decisive moments you see in street photography or photography in general, you just have to have your camera always with you. Other practical tips, mm, not really. Oh, this is actually a big one, is if you want to make more dramatic pictures, you see here in the top right corner, there's exposure compensation dial. So often if you want more dramatic pictures, you could do minus one. So like just to give you an example, let's say I'm photographing this little white car here. By default, it kind of looks like something like this. If I lower the exposure to minus 1.3, you can see the silhouette of the car is much more dramatic at minus 1 exposure compensation versus just 0. So this is just trying to get a good angle. 1, minus 1. So you could also experiment. So once again, let's say I'm photographing these cars set zero minus one you could see how much more dramatic it is minus one so you can just experiment with these things with the rico gr version 2 the great thing is that it's about 500 dollars on bnh or amazon whatever and yeah just give it a go honestly it has a, a dslr side sensor apsc sensor which means it's a very big sensor it's super insanely sharp because there's no anti-aliasing filter, which makes the camera sharper. And yeah, it just, it's gangster. <laughs> I love it. All right. If you're more interested in, check it out. And also check out this, uh, the shirt that my sister Annette designed. Gangsta Rico Mafia. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.